For many years, Jim Crossan tried to bury all that he'd suffered and seen in a faraway war. At 98, he now wants the story told, lest the world forgets. It, they just struck people to make them work. It was inhuman. In 1942, Jim was one of 80,000 British and Allied troops who surrendered when Japan took Singapore. The brutal treatment of the prisoners of war, forced to build bridges and roads for their Japanese captors, was recreated in the film Railwayman. Jim Crossan worked on the bridge. He still remembers the song they were forced to sing as they laboured. Ichi ni no saya, no saya, and all that, yeah, you let go of the rope. But more than that, he remembers the beatings. Do you think they saw you as equal human beings or did they see you as something less? No, something less, because, oh, you Singapore, ha, ha, ha. But this made a fool of us because we'd surrendered. The worst came near the end, building what became known as the Road of Death. And there was only 26 of us left in the hut, out of 200. We were just dying off daily. The POWs did not know about the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. News the war was over wasn't believed at first. And then it, it sunk in. We were crying for their... Our mates, we didn't make it. I'll just take it out for you. Jim still has the rain-damaged photograph of his then fiance Jean, that he carried through three and a half years of captivity. She didn't know if he was dead or alive. For three years, she went through hell. And that applies to all the, 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 the ladies back home. But she was still waiting for you? But she's still waiting for me. Uh, this is the printed card Jean received, telling her Jim would be coming home. They were married soon after his return and had 54 happy years together before her death. It is for her and for the families of all those who suffered in that faraway war that Jim wants the story told and VJ Day honoured this weekend. Paul Davis, ITV News, Lancashire.